Sri Lanka's most powerful news brand. Convening a media briefing at the party headquarters in Bhattaramulla today, JVP Propaganda Secretary MP Vijita Herat listed out in detail losses caused by the previous government. A parliamentary debate on the Bond Commission report as well as a debate on serious financial fraud should be held before the 7th of February. Here we have the Bond Commission report and here we have the report on serious acts of financial fraud. One contains the theft of the previous government and other contains the thefts of the current government. So both of these reports are essentially the same. If you calculate the losses, it amounts to billions. There is a 10 million rupee loss at the Fisheries Corporation. There is a loss of over 230 million caused to the independent television network through misappropriation by Mahindra Rajapaksa during the previous presidential election. A 20 million rupee loss at Chilau Plantations Limited. A 7 million rupee loss at Ratna Arakshakalanka in the recruiting of employees. 30 million rupee loss at Sri Lankan Catering. The Sri Lanka Rupavani Corporation suffered a loss of over 380 million because of campaign activities of Mahindra Rajapaksa during the presidential election. There is a 7 million rupee loss for the National Transport Commission and a 20 million rupee loss for the National Youth Services Council. Similarly, this report has listed out the millions in losses which have been caused. It contains details of Vimal Veerawansa, Piyasiri Vijayanayaka, Jayanta Samaraveera, Mohammed Muzammil, Piyankar Jayaratna and Padma Udeshanta. It speaks of how they misused vehicles and so on. It contains how Basil Rajapaksa, during his term as minister, used security vehicles which did not belong to him. The approved number of vehicles was three, but he had used 11 high security vehicles, which brings the total to 14. This is for ministerial security. The official security detail is seven, but Basil Rajapaksa had 64 personnel from the Navy and 84 from the Army. Usually, under the Bribery Act, if a parliamentarian is accused of fraud and corruption and is found guilty of those charges, his or her civic rights can be stripped. That is the law and it is the same for MP Mahinda Rajapaksa, MP Kehelia Rambukwella and MP Rajita Senaratna. Kehelia Rambukwella, Rajita Senaratna, Rajita Senaratna.